Whenever you're ready. Uh, hello, my name is Alan Sengupta, and I'm gonna, today I'm going to be talking to you about a smart house in Julia on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, the Raspberry Pi is a credit card sized computer created in Cambridge. Um, it's one of, it's the most popular British computer, surprisingly. Got one here. Can you see this? Yes. Um, and it can be extended using hats, which stands for hardware attached on top. One of these hats, the sense hat, which is this one, one here, it uh, is used to tell the Pi about its surrounding environment. It can measure humidity, pressure, temperature, and magnetic field. It's also got an accelerometer and gyroscope. It has an 8x8 LED matrix to display these sensor readings and was created for AstroPi, which was a competition set up by the European Space Agency to see who could create the best project to be sent up to the ISS with astronaut Tim Peake. The Explorer Hat Pro is another of these hats and it is used to connect the Pi more easily to physical components. It has four analog inputs, four digital inputs, two 5 volt ports, two ground ports, four output ports, two motor controllers, 3.3 volt port, PWM and more 3.3 volt things from the Raspberry Pi GPIO pins. Uh, Julia on the Raspberry Pi uh, is, you can n now with the latest versions of Raspbian, the operating system of the Raspberry Pi, you can just download it directly from the terminal using apt-get install Julia. I've used three packages in this project, uh, pygpao.jl, sensehat.jl, and juliaberry.jl. Uh, pygpao.jl is used to control the 40 GPIO pins uh, of the Raspberry Pi with, using Julia. The sensehat.jl is used to control the sensehat here. And uh, juliaberry.jl is an omnibus package for Julia on the Raspberry Pi, which provides a high-level programming interface. So this smart house has several features, the first of which are, are the environmental sensors. Um, so this uses the humidity, pressure, and temperature sensors and displays them on the uh, LED matrix. So in the code, you create the channel to put every stick event from the control stick into, and then in the background, put every stick event into the channel. Uh, in the while true loop, you then create a variable which uh, it takes the last available stick event, uh, and then check if it is the stick being pressed in the middle. If so, it'll then flash the Julia logo and scroll through its readings. The second feature is the remote door. This uses an infrared sensor and a remote to control a motor opening a door. So this code is quite simple. Uh, you just check if the Explorer hat input is one, meaning that there is a signal being sent to the infrared sensor. Then you turn on the motor sl 
wait, five, wait half a second and then turn the motor off. When doing this, it's very important to calibrate your motor and door system because if you do it too slowly, well, the door opens slowly and you're dissatisfied. And if you do it too quickly, you rip it off its hinges, which isn't good either. Do you have a video of that? Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't. I wasn't recording at that point. <laughs> so the next feature is uh, the light-sensitive light. Uh, it uses a light-dependent resistor to turn on a relay, which is an electromagnetic switch to control a light bulb. A uh, relay is used to um, control a more po uh, very powerful component using a relatively less powerful microcontroller. Uh, this code is quite sim similar to the last one. You just check if the analog input is receiving less than 0 0.5, meaning there's a low light intensity, and that will turn on the relay turning on the bulb. So the next the final feature is the burglar alarm. This uses a passive infrared sensor to turn on each of the Explorer Hat LEDs, blue, yeah, yellow, red, and green, and a separate LED and a buzzer. You might also want to cover your ears. This is much longer, but still quite similar to the last two. You check if the Explorer Hat input uh, one is set is set to one, meaning that the passive infrared sensor is receiving motion. This uh, you then uh, turn on the buzzer and the first LED, which is blue. Wait for one second. Turn them both off. Set the buzzer frequency to 50. This isn't. The frequency of the buzzer, that's the frequency of the PWM setting on the GPIO pin. And uh, then turn on the buzzer and the LEDs, wait one second, turn them both off. That, this section repeats four times, uh, each time with a different Explorer Hat LED, and then that all repeats three times. Thank you. Any questions? I'm curious what uh, made you interested in using Julia for um, programming a Raspberry Pi? Uh, well, it's a lot faster than Python, which is what I used before, and it's still quite easy to use. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Um, uh. Great presentation. Thank you. Uh, do you have a sense of um, whether this will only work on Raspberry Pi or will it work on other boards as well? Uh, it would work on any other board. Like, uh, Great. Thank you. Is it possible to uh, connect your system to a uh, home automation network uh, called HAN, H-A-N? Because if you can connect it to HAN, then you can uh, control home appliances uh, like uh, air conditioners and uh, lightings and all yeah, those things. Yeah, like you could. OK, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, that's it, I guess. Um, enjoy your lunches. Thanks again so much, Ahan. Great presentation.